Hello, people, back again. This is one of those stories that makes me laugh because you don't know why they need to announce this, but at the same time, it's kind of cool they did. And that's the fact that Capcom is promoting executive positions of female employees as part of its goal to recognize the importance of diversity. The company announced during its recent financial review. Uh, according to the company's statement, Capcom strives to use female workers and make evaluations according to performance not based on gender, age, and such. As part of such efforts, we are promoting executive positions of, employ of female employees, and so far we have two female corporate officers and 20 female employees in management positions, such as general managers and senior managers, the company said. Now, this the reason why this like kind of got some people in a fussle was, if you're doing that, why do you need to announce it, kind of thing. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, in the Japan culture... Things are not as same as it is here, but it is show the importance of this. It is showing a change of the guard in the gaming development world. It's been a male dominated thing for the longest time, and occasionally you get a female creator or person involved here or there, high up, but normally it's a blip on the radar. And it is a good thing that more, you know, more f females should be involved. I, I think. It, I don't think, I'd love to see a day where we don't have to make a big deal whether it's male or female, to be honest with you, because uh, I think each person has their own great input and creativity to making a game or making a game better. It doesn't matter. You know, back in the, originally when gaming started, it wasn't male dominated. Males dominated buying the games, males dominated making the games. This day and age is not so much that the breakdown between male and female gamers is becoming 50 50. And there should be. Creators and people who make games for both. It should always. It shouldn't matter what age you are, what gender you are. It shouldn't matter. Can you make a game that the people want to play? Can you help out make the game better or help the team out? And that's why people are laughing because this is kind of an old thing. The fact that Capcom's not finally admitting this now. You know, when you think of this day and age, they're making that now. Their plan is to promote female employees. It also shows a culture change at Capcom. That Capcom is trying to change the culture of what they do. And a lot of game developers are going to have to, because if they stick to the old ways, they're going to fail. Not only uh, whether it be employees or others they used to hire, or like females in the past, but you can't just think of a game console anymore as a game company. You have to think of the mobile platforms, the tablets, PC, you know, you, you, you can't just think of, excuse me, you can't just think of, we're going to release this for one console or stuff. That is an old way of thinking, and you will fail. You also got to think of digital, because digital is becoming a bigger thing, especially, obviously, digital is the mobile devices. That market is a big market. More people, more and more people are playing on that market. More and more people have a phone, which is automatically a potential gaming device. Even if they buy only one game a year, they're going to play that game a lot. Like me, I actually downloaded uh, Sega's Dragon Coins uh, actually yesterday, which is a mix of RPG and coin dropping game combined. Actually, it really works really well, despite how you would not think those two don't mix together. But it shows a changing at Capcom. Something in the culture there just doesn't happen normally. But the fact they had announced in their press release kind of threw people off. And, and some people don't understand that each country has its own culture, and their culture may not be what yours is. And sometimes seeing something like this shocks people, but it just shows how maybe Japan game development, they haven't accepted uh, gender equality as much as they should. And hopefully every uh, game company has, has this, not just, not just one, because it's pointless if only one company does it. You need all of them to do in order to make make real diversity and real change. But anyway, what do you think about the fact Capcom is now trying to promote its female employees uh, in this company? What do you think about the fact they had to make a press release to talk about it? Do you think it's silly? Do you think, wh why don't you just do it and not bother talking about it? Love to hear your guys' opinions, and I will talk to you guys later.